Hello, students. Welcome to IEP English class. I think some of you already forget my name. Who can still remember, teacher? Can you still remember me? It's been a while for two and three students. I haven't seen you for a long time. I miss you already. Who can remember what is my name? Let's see if you can still remember, teacher. Comment down below if you can still remember me. Let's see if you can still remember, teacher. Where are the students from room six? Three slash six. Okay, I can see only two students remember my name. Natapob and number 38 from three slash eight. Teacher Ivy, that's true. Yes, once again, welcome to IEP English class and I am Teacher Ivy. For today, I will be the one to teach you because Teacher Joy is not feeling well. Get well soon, Teacher Joy. So, but don't worry, tomorrow Teacher Joy will teach you again, okay? But for today, it will be Teacher Ivy. Okay, hello, Teacher Ivy. Yes, hi, everyone. Hello, Pratum Tree. Where are the students from 3 slash 6? If you are from 3 slash 6, comment a smiley face. And if you are a student from 3 slash 7, comment down in the comment section a heart. Comment a heart if you are from uh, 3 slash 7. And if you are from 3 slash 8, comment like. Oh, a lot of students are from room 3 slash 6. I can see a lot of smiley face. Say hello, teacher Ivy Pim. Chan Yanot. Hello, Chan Yanot. Hello, Kong Kwan. How are you, Kong Kwan? We have here, who else? Your names are in time. So if you want to answer later, don't forget to write your name, your number, and your room. Okay? Your English name, your number, and your room. Jong Tab. Jong Tab. Hello, Jong Tab. How are you? Number 35. I miss you, number 35. How are you? We have Palada, number 32, from 4 slash 7. Hello, good morning. We have Natapon. Who else? Okay, I will start the class if we will reach 30 students. As of now, we have 23 students watching. Okay, everyone, if you're watching, you can eat while you watch. You can drink milk, you can drink water, drink juice, can eat anything. Yes, because it's I think it's lunch time already. You can eat your lunch while you are learning with teacher I okay. Oh there's uh Fong Fong from four slash three slash eight. I'm sorry. Who else? Okay, we have 25 students watching. Number 17, hello, number 17 from 3 slash 8. Number 36 from 3 slash 7, hello. How are you? Who else? It's me, Nawi. Nawi, number 32, hello. 36, number 36 is commenting, hi, 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 hi. Hello, number 36 from 3 slash 7. Peace, hello, peace. How are you, please? Gizzy, hello, Gizzy. How are you? Okay, now we have 29 students. One more student and we will start our class. Okay, now we have 30 students watching, 28. Okay, don't worry. So before we start with our class for today, we are going to stretch our body, stretch our arms, stretch our body, shake our bodies because so that you will not be sleepy, okay? I want everyone to stand up. You follow teacher or you follow the video that teacher will play. Stand up and be energized so that you will have a lot of energy listening to our class today. 
Okay? So I think you love this one. This is your favorite. I know that you love to dance. I know that Pratum Play students love to dance. So today, before we start with our class, we will dance. Who wants to dance? Comment hard if you want to dance with Teacher Ivy. Yes or no? Yes, it's a yes. Okay? Let's start. Everyone dance with teacher. It's not playing. Clap your hands! Good. I think, did you enjoy the song? Did you like the song? Comment hard if you like the song. Okay. Now, everyone, let's inhale and exhale. Okay. You can drink water. You can drink your juice now because I know that you, you're tired with dancing. You can sit down. And now, I want your eyes and I want your ears to listen. And watch teacher Ivy. Okay, I can see here number 17 from 3 slash 8. I did not dance because I have a headache. Oh, okay, just sit down and just listen to teacher Ivy. Okay, now, okay, let's start with our lesson for today. If you have your books with you, you can get your books, okay? You can get your pupils' books if you have your books with you. And I will tell you the page later, okay? But before that, today we are going to travel to a different 
place, okay? So the place that we are going to travel to is in this picture. But you will guess what place are we going to talk about today, okay? Uh, I will remove one color and then you will guess what is the place that we are going to discuss for today, okay? Let's see if you can guess. Hmm. What do you think is this place? Comment down. What do you think is this place? Yellow. Okay, let's try yellow. Let's see if you can guess what is the country or what is the place that we are going to discuss for today. Spain, are you sure? It's a country and a city. What country do you think is this one? They have hot air balloons in this country. This is very famous because of their hot air balloon. Okay, what do you think is the country? Hmm. Kong Kwan says Turkey. Let's see if your answer is correct. Yes, very good. Come on from P slash H. She's the first one to answer. So today we are going to travel to Cappadocia, Turkey. Have you been to Turkey? Have you traveled to Turkey before? Yes or no? Yes? Teacher, I haven't. Uh, teacher, I haven't uh, haven't traveled to to Turkey before, but have you seen a hot air balloon before? Or have you ever ride a hot air balloon? Uh, number 38, number 16, yes, wow, that is really cool. He traveled or she traveled to Turkey before. Tai Chi Ni, is it T Tai Chi Ni? Okay, so for today, we are going to read a passage or an article about Turkey. So if you have your books with you, you can open your book on page 75, okay? Everyone, if you have your books with you, you can open your books on page 75. But if you don't have your book, it's okay. Okay, I want everyone to get their books, if you have books, and a highlighter. Or if you don't have highlighter, you can use your pencil, okay? Now, everyone, I want your ears and I want your eyes to listen to that audio. And later on, we will read this again together, okay? Paul's book, Unit 6, page 75. 4. Listen and read. Where is Cappadocia? Cappadocia, Turkey, is different from any other place on Earth. It is a very high area, over 1,000 meters above the sea. The many mountains across this area, which are thousands of years old and made from volcanic rock. Some of these mountains are really high, like Kayseri, which is the highest at 3,916 meters. Because Cappadocia is so high, the weather can change a lot. It can be very hot some days and very cold other days. The people who lived in Cappadocia many years ago made small houses inside the mountains and rocks. Should visit it because you can explore inside the exciting houses and see how the people lived. Okay, so the passage is all about what they are talking about Cappadocia, Turkey. Okay, so if you don't have your book number 17, it's okay because teacher will read it again for all of you. Okay. So you just have to listen and watch. Okay, let's read it again. Cappadocia, Turkey is different from other places on earth. It's different from other places. Different from Thailand, different from Japan. Turkey is different from South Korea and other places in the world. 
okay? It is very, it is a very high area. Again, when we say high, high pewala, it's sung, right? I think high is sung. I don't know if that is correct, but yes, very high. So, Turkey is a very, in a very high area. It is over 1,000, what? It's over 1,000 meters above sea level. So, it's very, very high, in a very high area. Area. That's why Turkey, Cappadocia, Cappadocia, Turkey is different from other places on Earth. Everyone remember this one. If you have a highlighter, you can highlight the words, okay? Next, there are many mountains across this area which are thousand years old and made from volcanic rocks. Some of these mountains are really high. Again, high is so, so. Okay, I don't know if that's correct, but yes. <laughs> like Kayseri. Kayseri is the highest mountain in Turkey. Kayseri is the highest mountain in Turkey. And it is 3,916 meters. It's very high. Imagine. Imagine a 3,000... 960 meters high mountain. It's a very high mountain. That's why Cappadocia is, that's why um, the weather in Cappadocia is what? It changes a lot because it is very high. It is in a very high area. That's why the weather changes a lot. It can be hot on some days, right? It can be very hot. And some days, it can be very cool. So uh, the weather in Cappadocia, Turkey is different. Again, why is it different? Because why is it different? Why is the weather in Turkey different? Because what? Because they live or it is located in a very high area. Okay? So the people who live in Cappadocia many years ago, made small houses. Okay, look at this picture. So many years ago, they made a small houses inside the mountains and the rocks. You should visit it because you can explore inside the exciting houses and see how the people live. Okay, so it says here that if you want to travel to Cappadocia, Turkey, you can go inside into these small houses. So before, I don't know if they are still building it now, but this, so these small houses are built before many, many, many years ago. Understand? Okay, again, later I will ask you a question. Again, what is the highest mountain in Turkey? Let's see if you are listening and if you are reading. What is the highest mountain in Cappadocia or in Turkey? What is the highest mountain? It starts with the letter K. It has 3,960 meters. What mountain is that? What is the highest mountain? It's... Everyone, put a tree. It's Kaiseri. Okay, again, Kaiseri. This one, you can highlight this word. It's the highest mountain in Turkey. It has 3,916 um, meters. So it changes a lot. Again, the weather there changes a lot. Kongkwan is very active, very good Kongkwan. Kongkwan says Kaiseri. Okay, so the weather there, again, the weather there changes a lot from very hot weather to a very cold weather because it's in a very high area okay now if you have your books again you can open your books on page 75 okay now let's answer this fact five so that let's see if you are listening and reading with teacher Ivy. so what where is it Cappadocia where is Cappadocia Navy hello Navy welcome to IP English Okay, first question. Where is it? 
Where is Cappadocia? Very good. Come on. The answer is Turkey. It is in Turkey. Very good. Next, how high is it above the sea? Again, how high it is above the sea? Okay, how high? How many meters high above sea level? Remember, Turkey is in a very, very high area. 100, Fong Fong, are you sure? Let's see if your answer is correct, Fong Fong. What else? Who can answer? Fong Fong says 1,000. Chan Yenot says 3,916. Okay, again, the question is, it's all about Cappadocia, Turkey. How high is it in uh, above sea level? It's... Let's see if your answers are correct. It is over 1,000 meters. Okay, let's see who got it correct. The first one to answer 1,000 meters is Fong Fong. Very good. Okay, who else? Uh, Chan Yenot got it correct. 1,100 meters. Okay, next. What's the weather like? What is the weather like in uh, Cappadocia, Turkey? What do you think is the weather like there? Um, the weather, remember that the weather changes. The weather changes because it's in a very high area. So what do you think is the weather in Cappadocia, Turkey? Where are the students from 3 slash 7? I can't see anyone from 3 slash 7. Okay, we have number 38. Says 1,000. If the ayer said it's cold, yes, that is correct. So the weather there changes a lot. Again, why does the weather in Cappadocia changes a lot? Because they, it is located in a very high area. There are some, in some days, the weather is very hot. And there are some days, what? Some days the weather is hot. And other days, the weather is cold. But in Thailand... It's the same with Thailand, but in Thailand, it's always very hot, <laughs> right? In Thailand, we have uh, four weathers, hot, very hot, very, very hot, and very, very, very hot. <laughs> very hot in Thailand, four weathers in Thailand. Yes or no? Do you agree with teacher? Yes or no? <laughs> okay, now let's proceed. Why should you visit in Turkey or why you should... Why should you go there? Why, why should you visit in Cappadocia, Turkey? Or do you want to visit there? If yes, why should you visit in Cappadocia, Turkey? What do you think is the reason why you should visit? Let's see if who can answer this one. Remember, teacher Joy and teacher Ivy is giving points to those who are answering in the comment box. So those who are answering, we will give points for you. Don't worry. So now it's your time to answer. Why should you visit Turkey or Cappadocia? So you can explore the old houses. Remember, they built small houses, exciting houses. Very good. Check in with number 11. To visit the small houses. Remember, many, many, many years ago, they built houses on mountains and rocks. So that if you, uh, right now, you can visit, if you visit Turkey, you can explore the small houses. I think it's very exciting. Next, what's the highest mountain? Okay, this one. This one is very easy. What is the highest mountain? In Cappadocia, Turkey, it has 3,916 meters. Okay, let's see if you can answer this one. I think this is the easiest question. It starts with letter K. Who can answer? I will give points to those who can answer. Again, what's the highest mountain in Cappadocia, Turkey. Okay, we have here number two from three slash eight. Oh, it's Kong Fong again and Kong Huan. Kai Xin. Kai Xin. Kong Huan, that is wrong. Yes, 
Uh, Fong Fong, very good. Kaisiri, okay? Kaisiri Mountain is the highest mountain in Cappadocia, Turkey. It has 3,916 meters tall, okay? Next, where did people live? Where did people live? They live in inside the mountains and rocks. So many years ago, people in Cappadocia, Turkey, they live in mountains and rocks. So if you have your book with you, you can copy this one or you can read the answers on your book. Screenshot this one and you can answer it, copy it later, okay? Now, let's proceed to this one. Let's match the information about Cappadocia, okay? First, 1,000 meters. 1,000 meters. Is it letter A, high above the sea? Letter B, the weather in Cappadocia? Or letter C, the height of the highest mountain? Or letter D, made from volcanic rocks? Okay, right. Comment down your answer. Is it letter A, B, C, or D? 1,000 meters. What is 1,000 meters? It's letter? Yaya yeah, yes, said letter A. Who else? Uh, number 11 says letter A. Fong Fong says letter A. Number 18, God says letter A. Hello, God. How are you? Okay, I think everyone's answer is letter A. My friend says letter A. Okay, let's see if your answer is correct. 1,000 meters is letter A. High, height above the sea. So it is the, what? It is the height uh, above sea level. It's 1,000 meters meters above sea level next the mountains okay the mountains is what the mountains is what the weather in Cappadocia the mountains is the height of the highest mountain or the mountains made from volcanic rock is it a b or c okay other says letter c hmm are you sure with that Number two says letter C. Again, the mountains. What is that? The mountains. It's referring to the mountains. Is it the weather in Cappadocia? Or the highest, the, or the height of the highest mountain? Or letter D, made from volcanic rocks? Number 47, 3 slash 6. He is the only one who got the correct answer. So the correct answer is letter D. Is the mountains are made of, made from volcanic rocks. Okay, number three. 3,916 meters. This one, very easy. It's very easy for you. You have two letters left. You choose the weather in Cappadocia. Or the height of the highest mountain. Kim says KFC. I think Kim is hungry. Okay, again, right now it's already 11.17 uh, at noon. So you can eat your lunch. You can eat your lunch and you can um, eat anything so that you will not be hungry. Okay, 3,960 meters. What is that? Letter C. Very good. And the last one. Sometimes hot and sometimes cold. Okay, again, sometimes very hot and sometimes cold. What is the answer? Letter? Letter B. Okay. Uh, other says letter. Letter C. Letter D. Okay, the correct answer is letter be sometimes hot and sometimes cold. Okay, now, if you have internet with you, you can search the answer. So the first one to answer this one will have the points, okay? So first, I will give you 30 seconds to answer. You can search in Google, search in the internet, the correct 
answer. Okay, I know Teacher Joy says you love this game. Okay, let's see who can answer this one first. Again, you can search in the internet, search in Google, what is the correct answer? Okay, question number one. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. It has 8,848 meters above the sea. It is part of an important mountain range. What is the name of the mountain range? Okay. What is the name of the mountain range? It is so Mount Everest is part of a mountain range. Okay, again, Mount Everest is part of the mountain range. So what is the name of the mountain range? This the answer is not numbers, it's a uh, the name of the mountain range. So I will give you 30 seconds to answer this one. Ready? Go! mountain range. Uh, it starts with letter H, I think. Okay, so the correct answer is Himalayan Mountain. So no one got the correct answer. Okay, the name of the mountain range is Himalayan Mountain. Okay, next. The Nile is the longest river in the world. It is in Africa, and it goes through 10 countries, okay? So the Nile River is the longest, very long, longest river in the world. So it is in Africa. Nile River is in Africa. It goes through, through 10 countries, again. Okay? So the Nile River goes through 10 countries. Name two countries the Nile River goes through, okay? Name at least two countries. I will give you 30 seconds to answer. Let's see if you can get the correct answer. <laughs> Okay, a lot of you says Amazon. Okay, again, the question is the Nile River is the longest river in the world. So, um, it goes through 10 different countries. Name at least two countries that Nile River goes through. Let's see. Others as Amazon, Kenya. Let's see if your answers are correct. So we have here Egypt, Burundi, Tanzania, uh, Rwanda, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Kenya, Uganda, Sudan, Ethiopia, and Zaire. Or Zaire, I think. So... Kenya, uh, Fong Fong says Kenya. Number 15 says Kenya, Amazon. No, there, it doesn't pass in Amazon. Kenya, okay, I, I guess some of you got it right. Kenya and Uganda, very good. So these are the 10 countries that Nile River goes through. Next, next is Sahara Desert is the biggest hot desert in the world. 
it is almost the same size as USA or United States of America. Which continent is it in? Okay, which continent? Which continent does Sahara Desert is located? Is it in Asia or in Africa? Okay, you have two choices. Is Sahara Desert located in the continent of Asia or Africa? You have um, you have thirty seconds to answer. <laughs> Okay, so Sahara Desert is located in what continent? Others, uh, Chanya Note says Africa. Okay, I cannot see some of your comments. Others uh, says Africa, Africa, Africa. Okay, let's see if your answer is correct. So the correct answer is Africa. Okay, so it's the largest desert or the biggest desert or hot desert in the world. It is as the same size, as big as the United States of America. It's very big. So it is located in Africa. All right. Next. Amazon rainforest is the biggest tropical rainforest in the world. More than half of the rain of the forest is in Brazil. Name two other countries countries which have part of the Amazon. Okay? Name two countries uh, which have been part of the Amazon River. Okay, you can search this one. We only have four minutes left. Again. Um, Amazon River is the biggest tropical rainforest in the world. More than half of the forest is in Brazil. Name two countries which have part of the Amazon. Okay? <laughs> Okay, so number 11, 3 slash 4. Okay, Bell students are welcome to join our class for today. So we have US South, USA, Brazil uh, from PIM. Okay, PIM says South, USA, Brazil, South America, Amazon, Brazil, Colombia. Okay, Brazil. Hmm, let's see if your answers are correct. God says Brazil. Fokong says Brazil and Colombia. Colombia and Brazil. Okay, so we have here Peru, Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Bolivia, Guyana, Suriname, and French Guinea. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that country. Okay, so a lot of you said Brazil. So Brazil is not here, but the uh, Amazon rainforest it's already half of Brazil, so your answer is correct. And other says Colombia. Okay, we have here Colombia. Your answer is correct. Now we have one minute left, so I think that is it for today. For tomorrow, don't worry, Teacher Joy will be here with you again. So see you next time for two three students. And I miss you all. Okay, goodbye everyone. Have a great day. Yeah.